So what is the role of a consultant? Well, in my opinion, the role of a consultant is to be a trusted advisor. And I really spent a focus on trusted advisor, not just an advisor. And I'll come back to that later in the presentation. You might act as a catalyst. Many organizations are kind of gridlocked. There are many good initiatives going on and there are many competing priorities that, uh, that you have to work with from day to day. And you act as a catalyst. You are not part of the political uh, games that goes on in an organization. You speak your mind, you give the advice and uh, you might like it or you might not like it, but you have to be very truthful. That's very important. You act as an educator, which is um, to sell your ideas or to sell to the organization you, you work with, what, where should you focus and teach the whole organization, operations, maintenance, uh, plant management, uh, craftspeople, unions, whatever it is, that this is what good practice are about and you increase their awareness. You act as a trainer when you come into more of the implementation to train people in this is how you can do this. And you use actually you work as an accelerator. You make it happen within a reasonable time frame, whatever you want to do. And much of the job has to be on the job coach and implementation. You cannot only talk about what you're going to do. You cannot only work in the conference room to draw up the best processes and support. That's easy to do. You need to be able to go out and implement what you do, what you have suggested. To deliver results, you need to be capable to do all these steps. Number one, see to that you're together with the organization, develop a prioritized action plan based on the right things to do. At that stage, you might not talk about how you're actually going to do all these things. You just need to get to an agreement that these are the right things to do. And then you need to be able to convey your ideas so you get acceptance and a co commitment from the client's organization especially from, of course, the plant manager, the maintenance manager, operations manager, the leadership team, but also from the frontline organization. I'll come back to that later. You need to be able to do the execution. You go out and coach and see to that you work, work with your organization to coach planners and supervisors and the managers in how you're going to do the, the right things right. And there, that's a lot of involvement with the organization. So you don't come up with your preconceived ideas and tell them how to do it. You get, need to get their acceptance that this is the way we can do this. And then you get results. And the results will be safety, better safety, better reliability, uh, which is a high quality production throughput. And of course, costs will go down. Listen to their needs. If you can display that you understand their needs and that you are capable to help with these needs, they will trust you. If you come in with just a preconceived concept because you worked in a plant for many years and you saw that these concepts, they really worked in that plant, well, that doesn't mean that it will work in this plant. You have to listen to the client. You have to listen. You had two ears. You have two ears and one mouth and use it proportionally. It's very important. Maintenance management is 90% about making people working in well-defined and documented processes. That's really what it comes down to. The technology part is very interesting and very, very important, uh, very important as such, but it is actually the easy part. It's something you can buy and you can put into function, but really it is more about people and getting people to work in well-defined processes. Remember one thing, that hiring a consultant is a risk for the client. 
So you better be good. You might be a plant manager, you might be a corporate uh, reliability and uh, maintenance manager. You might be the maintenance manager. You better get the right consultant because if something goes wrong, okay, of course you as a consultant will be blamed from it externally, but internally the person who actually hired you will also have to deal with some of the conflicts that might happen from that. So you better be good. It's very important. You have a commitment to the person who hired you to de de absolutely deliver results. So you need to convince the client that they can trust that you have the knowledge and the skills to work with all levels of their organization.